Okay, so I'm going to start the video by saying that I received these pretty late, like literally a couple of days ago. So recording a process video and editing that and all that good stuff is not easy to do in a short period of time. So I'm going to do my unboxing as usual. I'll share all the new goodies with you. If I do create something, I might just put some music on and you can watch me put together my layout <laughs> or I'm not going to have a process. I haven't decided yet. It just depends on how much time I have to edit and add a voiceover. But anyways, for now, we're going to do our unboxing and I'm going to start with the stamp sets and there's some new fun things coming to Studio Calico as well. So I want to share those as well, but I will start with the add-on stamp sets the new goodies, and then we'll check out the subscription kits. Okay, so let's start with the three by four. This is the stamp that goes with their documenter kit, but you purchase it separately. It's really cute. I'm really excited for this. It's just, I really like that there's a big title on there and it says, this must be the place. And then you have some flowers, hearts, stars, but I can see myself using this over and over again. Really cute. Um, the 6x8 stamp set this month is a good one. It's an alpha, and I'm so excited for this. So if you purchased their Homebody stamp set, it had a little stamp that said Homebody with this font. And I'm so excited that they decided to create an alpha with that font. Every time I stamp that Homebody stamp, it's just perfection. So now we have the font, and I can't wait to use this. I love the size as well. We do have three travel stamps, I believe. Yes, three. Okay, so let's start with this one. These are going to go really well with the new journal that I'm going to share with you in a little bit. But they are so cute. I love this one, and it is designed by In a Creative Bubble, which is exciting. She always perfects the travel stamps. But I love the um, highlights of this trip. You are here. I like the idea that it doesn't have to really be travel. It can be a road trip. It could be a trip that's, you know, a few hours away. It's just really good. And I love those types of travel stamps because you can use them all the time. Again, it doesn't have to be just traveling in an airplane or whatever. You do have some number stamps as well. This one's fun. Find time to wander on the road again. Really like that. Travel itinerary. So good. The third one is as cute. I believe this one is by Goldenwood. So these two are Goldenwood. And you have the let's go in a circle, uh, where to next, explore more, wander often. So fun. Okay, so the next one is all about doing great and hard things. And I really like this stamp because... Lately, I've been like hitting some big goals and doing some hard things and accomplishing some big things. So I'm really excited for this one. So it has proud of me doing hard things. This is, um, by the way, designed by Mandy Ford. So fun. And last but not least with the stamps, we have this graduation stamp, which is awesome. Um, my son will be graduating next year in 2025, so this is going to be perfect to have in my stash to document him. But I do love this. I love the bold grad. And then you have, uh, and just like that, graduation, ceremony, and party. And my sister's graduating in May. I just remembered that. So that's going to be perfect to document her as well. But anyways, those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's take a look at the new goodies that are available now at Studio Calico. Okay, some of the new things that I'm excited about is this journal. It's called the Documenter Journal. And I was so excited when I looked through this. I have to share it with you because it's so good. I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for yet, but I just, I love how it's done. So... Um, obviously, you have the elastic band. It lays flat on one side, so you open it and there's a pocket. And so the stitching is not stuck to 
the like notebook, if that makes sense, or the spine, that's what I'm trying to say. And when I said that some of those stamps fit into this journal perfectly, I'm going to show you what I mean about that. So basically, if you grab the stamp, it fits right there in the center of your like oval. I think that's so cool. I love that they work this together. So you can use this journal for travel if you wanted to, and again, or road trips or whatever. But each page has like a different look to it. And I think they repeat themselves. So you have some grid, you have like line pages, some dotted pages. I like this one a lot where you can add photos, some journaling, things like that. Then some plain ones. It And it repeats itself basically. And I really like this. I was very excited for this. Because again, the stamps fit nicely. You could even stamp like these numbers up top. So you can stamp 12 if you wanted to, whatever day you're on a trip. Um, I, again, haven't decided how I'm going to use this, but I'm excited for it. I don't know if I want to keep it until I do travel, document some fun photos of my travel. I don't know, but I'll figure it out when t the time comes. Um, I am traveling in August, so maybe I can hold off and use that for my little trip. We shall see, but I did want to share with you that these uh, stamps do fit really well with this journal, and it's a fun journal to have. There's also some tabs. These are fun as well. They are papery. Let me see if I can get one off. So it's just paper tabs and sticky on one side, so you can do like a little title or something on the side. I don't know, but the colors are really cute and I think um, they're a great little add-on. And then we have these craft pockets, which are so cool. And there's like a little slip on the side where you can just remove it and it sticks down. Really excited for those. And some tags, always a fan of tags, some pink ones, you get a lot in here. Wow, and some green ones and some blue ones. So it's a pack of different colored tags, which is fun. And they're white on the back. So those are the little add-ons that are in the shop right now. Let's take a look at our kits. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our stamp subscription. And this is a bunch of tags with different words that you can stamp out in your tags, the numbers, the lines. So you can basically build your own tag. Then you have adventure, filler, and the outline. This one's really fun if you're traveling this year or you're going to concerts. I've used my tag stamps a lot for concert layouts and things like that. But I think this one is fun and you have little sayings like saying yes to new adventures, wander, go see, do. Just a fun little stamp to have in your stash. Next up is our documenter kit. We're going to take a look what we got this month. Let's see the inside of our envelope. We got a tag that says, love this so much. Loving the flowers. And I bet you some of the patterns in here probably have those flowers. So I'm gonna take everything out of the plastic and we're gonna take a look at the new kit. Okay, first off, one thing I noticed while unboxing or removing the products from my little pouch is there's no washi tape this month. So just to let you know that there's no washi, I'm kind of sad, sad about that because I do like my washi in these kits. But we're gonna start with the tags. I am loving these tags. They're different. They have a nice scallop-like edge to them, which is fun. And I like that they're half-half. I think that's gonna be so fun to add in my like layouts. This would be perfect to add your journaling and maybe a cute little title, either stamp it or your, your um, alpha stickers or whatever. I really, really like those and I do love the colors for sure. I love that Studio Calico mixes the bright colors with the muted colors. They make me happy. Then you get a big chunky pack of leaves and they're so beautiful. Obviously, I'm not going to go through the whole pack, but they're just so gorgeous and fun. I can't wait to use these because I have so many photos of us going to the tulip farm and so I have 
you know, I'd like to use some of those flowers on those spreads. Anyways, some labels. And these are fun as well. They match the tags. Loving the colors. So, so fun. The chipboard. Loving that as well. You guys know how much I love my chipboard. And you have Make Today Amazing. Starting over. Right now, like a little tag. Really cute. Some yellow alphas. These are matte, so they're kind of like on, well, they're not kind of, they are on paper, basically, so paper stickers. And the puffy stickers. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of these puffy stickers. I don't know what it is. It's not the colors. I, I'm just, I'm not liking this puffy sticker sheet. <laughs> I'm not digging it for some reason, but, you know, that's just how I feel about it. But, yeah. Those are the puffies, and we're gonna leave it at that. Anyways, let's take a look at the papers and see what we got for April. Okay, so we got the making it up as I go. This one's fun. And then there's the back, really pretty. I do like this more, and so I'll basically probably end up using that. This is fun, on the go, black and white in the back. Really, really pretty colors this month. Oh, I love that. That is really fun. And that one's fun too. So good. Got your three by fours. That one's fun. Some more three by four and pattern. This must be the place. I like that. That's exactly like the little stamp. Really fun, bright colors this month. Oh, and you got it all big and bold. This is this one's definitely going in my Scrappy Spiral Notebook. Oh my gosh, that one's so fun. Okay, some really, really pretty patterns and cards this month. Got the April Making Connections. Rainy Day Checklist. Just awesome. Again, the pattern. Always better together. That's pretty. And that's very pretty. See, I wish like the puffy stickers were more like that. I don't know. They kind of look off to me. I don't know what it is. Let me know if that's, if you get it. Oh, that's really pretty too. Yeah, I was saying, let me know if you get it with the puffy stickers or you like that. I'm interested to see if it's just me or was it a miss this month? Okay, love this so much keep track of, and then you can kind of use that as a tracker. Brunch. Oh, I love this card. That one's fun. And you get the pattern and then your two cut aparts. Some really good cut aparts. I love that floral over there and that. So good. And then the pattern on the back. And that's it for the kit. Anyways, let's move on to the process portion of this video. So I have decided that I'm going to put something together for you. Um, I am going to do a layout anyways, so might as well film myself. I have not decided if I'm going to do a voiceover or just music. So I guess we'll figure it out as we go. So I'll see you in the next portion, which is my process. For this video. So I decided to work in my disc bound traveler's notebook. So I'm going to go through the pattern paper and try to find a few patterns that work with my photos. I'm going to be documenting an outing with my son. Every year we go to the library book sale and I just had a few photos from that day that I wanted to document. So what I decided to do is go with a very subtle pattern, which is this pink grid pattern. And I'm going to be using a page protector. I love using my 3x8 page protectors in my Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook. It's a great way to use my 3x4 cards. So I'm going to start with this uh, 3x4 card where you can add a photo. I think it's adorable. It matches my pattern really well. I also want to use this card that has like, it's a kind of filler card where you can fill in the blanks. And I thought it was perfect to document this day. And I'm gonna be using that third three by four card to add some stamping and make kind of my own card basically. Now that I've uh, chosen my paper and my cards, I'm gonna stick down my photos 
and I want to add a large bold title. I'm going to use the alphas from the kit to spell out book sale and I'm just using my ruler to help me kind of put this in the right spot basically. I'm getting better and better at using my ruler to add my alpha stickers. I think the yellow it's a little bit off. It doesn't match my cards perfectly but I actually like that. I think it blends in really well with my pattern paper so I'm just gonna go for it. My title's really bright, the pattern paper's really bright. So I decided to go through my chipboard, chose like the darkest. As you guys know, I like to balance things out with dark uh, colors. So I went ahead and stuck down today is the day right underneath my title. I'm also using the three by four stamp set to stamp a few of these stars with some black ink, again, to balance everything out and mute down all those bright colors. I also trimmed out a few little things from the cut apart sheet. I ended up adding on the list for today, I think, right above my photo or my three by four card. I'm also going to use some of the labels just to add a little something underneath my photo. So I don't know if it's a typo, but that three by four card said, I think 2023. So I wanted to cover that up and I just used the label for that. I'm gonna create my own card using the adorable three by four stamp set and I'm just stamping this must be the place with black ink. Again, muting down everything with my black ink. I'm also gonna stamp the little flower and heart from the stamp set. I think they're adorable. And by adding the flower and heart, I was able to add some of that red to the opposite side of my page. Also, while I had my stamp out, I decided to use that scallop stamp to add a little edge to my three by four card. And again, to add some more black ink to that page. Filling in my three by four card, and then I'm gonna add another chipboard right in the center. Again, adding the red helps bring in the red to the opposite side of my page. And basically, I call my layout done. Very easy and simple. I'm gonna punch out my holes, add it to my disc bound traveler's notebook cover, and then call it done. By the way, I usually, when I punch out my holes in my page protector, I usually add a piece of paper, but I totally forgot um, and it tore a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I was still able to use it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, I'm gonna add all the links for everything I shared down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.